Lord invited my year through North Ministry. I reading out of Psalms 91 verse 16. It says, With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. And it, it started off with he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High. He that dwelleth in the secret, secret place of the Most High. Do you think every Christian stay or dwell in a secret place of the Most High? Or is that a specific place, a secret place? A secret place. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. God wants us to have life and a long life. Now one preacher said to me, he think I must get a concordance and um, look up words because I'm speaking about immortality and stuff and he doesn't believe in that. Um, I do have concordance and and stuff like that. Long life means longer than normal or longer than the ordinary. Now what is then ordinary? The ordinary, ordinary is then um, is natural. It is 80 years. But when I'm born again, born from above, born from the seed of God, and He stays in me, it will quicken my mortal body. And I will have life everlasting life eternal life that's what we are preaching to men so that when they believe in the name of our lord jesus christ they can have life in fullness of life everlasting there's no end and yeah it says with a long life longer than normal or ordinary the ordinary is in the flesh but i'm i i will say to you if you truly believe in Jesus Christ, as he said to Martha, do you believe that those who live and believe in me will never die? Then this long life that, he, that God will satisfy us when we stay and dwell in the secret place of the Most High, death cannot get of a hold of you. Or God will give you a long, longer than a normal life and then he will leave you and death can come and fetch you. Death is an enemy. We must understand God wants us to live and have everlasting life. The thief comes to steal and to destroy. But I have come that you can live. Now only for 80 years. Uh, you must live and have life in fullness fullness so a long life full life immortal life everlasting life eternal life eternal life includes everlasting life and immortal life so when god is giving us eternal life we must focus on everlasting life for soul and spirit and body and then we are talking about immortal life because immortal life is mentioning about there's no decay for the physical realm. So mortal must put on immortal, immortality. That's we speak on immortality. We believe life is one thing and life can come to us and we must believe in our Lord Jesus Christ. So may you be blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.